Hi there, this is David, and welcome to a mystery unboxing. I received these three packages from Emi Kasama, Jeffrey K, and Acid Wizard, and I have no idea really what's inside of them, and I just thought that it would be fun to open them up uh, in front of the camera and share it all with y'all. I am continually humbled and just so surprised with all the support that I receive uh, throughout the year, and I thank you so, so much for it all. Um, so it's the least I can do is just kind of share it with everyone here. So let's see what we got. Starting here. This is a package from Emmy right here. So let's open this one up. Let's see what we got. Beautiful postage. She's from Sweden. She, um, she joins me on my streams pretty often, and she talks about what's going on in Sweden and everything, and I know what this is. This is some candy bars from, from Europe, from Sweden. This is a sport bar lunch. Okay, very nice. I think that we were talking about, um, we were talking about American chocolate, and she brought up European chocolate, and how much nicer it is, and it is nice, believe me, I've, I've had European chocolate before, and it's very nice, so I cannot wait to try this out. I'm always on my little diet, but you know, hey, you send me some chocolate, I can't resist. And we have a note from her, and I keep every single note, every single letter that I receive, I keep. I have a little spot in my game wall up there uh, for all the various notes that I get. It says, hello! It's from me, Emi Kasama, with glorious, tasty Swedish chocolate. There's vegan Kletchklad? It's the normal Kletchklad, but made for vegans. There's Marabou Swazer Knot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's Swedish milk chocolate with Swiss nuts. And then Sport Lunch, a chocolate with thicker wafers. I used to eat that a lot. It's still one of my favorites. Put them in the fridge and have an awesome time from Emmy. Thank you so, so much much emmy that's super sweet of you to send these all the way to me from sweden thank you so much <clears throat> this next package right here is huge it's absolutely enormous this one is from acid wizard um I'm, i feel like it's probably posters or something because it's just so big so i don't want to use my scissors to open it up just in case you know you break the um or you bust the um the poster or something. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, here we go. Okay. We have another note. <laughs> Let's read this one. Let's be careful with it because I do want to save the note. It's taped to this. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is a gift from reaching 50,000 subscribers. Thank you. It says, greetings and salutations, David. Congratulations on reaching 50,000 subscribers. I think that you're doing a great job and I really appreciate the passion that you bring to your coverage of JRPGs. I hope that your channel grows along with the rising popularity of these types of games here in the West. Keep doing what you're doing. Enclosed is a display commemorating one of our favorite games, Chrono Trigger! Yes! I ordered this a month or so ago, and whenever I received it, it was dented. I contacted customer service, and they said that they would send a replacement. I got the replacement, and I didn't know what to do with the first one, so I figured that I would send it to you since you've enriched my gaming experience and turned me on to games that I might have never known if not for you, Thank you for your hard work. P.S. I'm sorry about the dents. It doesn't look too bad, and if it bothers you, I think you can hammer it out. <laughs> Ken is actually very handy, and I'm pretty handy myself. So I feel like I should stand up to get this out. Okay, here we go. So it's a box within a box. Okay. This is like my mother's Christmas packaging. She wraps things up like it's Fort Knox. It's a box, and then other boxes surrounded by those peanuts and everything. You know how mothers are. They don't want it to get busted up or anything. I don't know how it got dented in all this packaging. Man. Let's see. Oh, good lord. <laughs> good lord. Okay. Oh, man. It's a box within a box within a box. It's like those Russian dolls. Man. Okay, let's put that over there. Have some trash to, uh, to throw away. Okie dokie. Let's see what we got. <gasps> oh, look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, I didn't even see a dent! I don't even see a dent! Where is the dent? I don't even see a dent! Oh my gosh! Oh! Look at this! Oh, 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 oh! 
Oh, now I see the tent. It's right, it, it's, it's like a little bit on the side, but honestly, like, it looks like it's just kind of like bowed outwards as if it's like an old television set or something, and yeah, you probably can hammer this out, but oh my god, I'm trying to set this straight, but it's mirror image. But look at this! Look at this! This is glorious! Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much! This is just fantastic! Oh, I love this! I'm going to hang this on my wall. I actually have some spots on my wall, probably just right over there-ish, so we can all see it. This is fantastic! Thank you so, so much! Oh my gosh, I can't even stand it! That is fantastic! Thank you so much, Acid Wizard! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, I'm blown away! I was thinking it was just going to be a poster, and it's this metal piece, and it's just, oh, it's fantastic. It's just fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And now here we have a package from Jeffrey Kaiser. If I can get it open. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, okay. Very nice packaging. Again, I see with the little bubble wrap and everything. Go uh, there. Oh, oh, good lord. It's numbered. We have numbered packages. I need to open these in a particular order, it seems. Package one, <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five. Oh, good gosh. Okay, so let's just go one through five first and then we'll get to the other ones. Good lord. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's package number one. Oh man. Oh, it's Lost Sphere. Oh, cool. Yeah, he um he said that he ordered this directly from the Square Enix store, and this is how it came, and he said, underwhelming, isn't it? Because there's nothing, you know, inside of it or anything. But I do have I Am Setsuna, and I do enjoy I Am Setsuna. And uh, yeah, he got me Lost Sphere. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. Let's see what number two is. Number two, we have, oh, <laughs> Drop Dead Gorgeous. This is a movie. He was, uh, he was talking to me and saying that this is kind of like a cult classic gay movie. And I've seen a lot of cult classic gay movies, but for whatever reason, I never saw this one. So he was like, you know, you need to watch this, watch this with your husband, watch it with your friends, watch it, and I definitely will. It does have Kristen Dunst in it, and I do like her. And it has Christy Alley in it, and I've always liked her ever since Cheers. I, I know I'm aging myself, but ever since Cheers, I've always liked Christy Alley. So. And then she had that show Veronica's Closet in the 90s, too, with that hot guy Daniel in it. Ooh. He was also in The Lottery. There was a TV miniseries of The Lottery. But anyway. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Um, he wants me to play Final Fantasy XI physically. I already have this on the, um, on the Steam. So he got me the actual physical version for the PS2. Has this little play online um, CD. This is more for just um, collector's sake, I suppose. Just having this. And it looks like it's in actually really nice, good condition. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Number four. Whew. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Good lord. What do we have? What do we have? Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, I see. It's okay, so this is the this is the base. And he bought me the expansion pack. Final Fantasy XI Online, Treasures of Argurgan expansion pack, so. Yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. It, it, even though I don't really normally play MMOs, um, I got addicted to EverQuest back in college, and um, it was not a good experience for me. Um, you know, you can't let online gaming control your life, and that's what I was doing with, um, with EverQuest. This is Chains of Promethea. Very nice. All these really cool physical editions right there. I just like to have physical stuff in my collection. This is so cool. Thank you so much. 
but yeah, uh, it got to the point where I was starting to um, not 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 fail, but not do as well in my courses as I would have liked to. So I uh, so I pretty much forced myself to to oh, this is number six to um to quit in order to focus on what really mattered, and that was you know graduating so yeah so uh, so so ever since then i've just kind of been like made a rule for myself even though you know i can obviously play them now i just read i just made a rule for myself i get very addicted to them and i would rather not so that's just me and i know a lot of other people some of my really good friends play these online mmo games um as well and i, I did get into world of warcraft for a hot minute too with my friend chris um, but again, I, 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 I kind of went and I, um, I, um, I made that rule for myself and I was like, no, 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 I can't do this. He got me the Final Fantasy XI strategy guide. He knows how much I love strategy guides. There's all sorts of stuff. You know what? I'm going to have to try this out. I know I have this rule for myself not to, but this game has been going on for so long now, well over 10 years, and everybody just rants and raves about it saying how great it is um maybe i will give it a shot you know um not to say that i'll get addicted to it or play it you know 12 hours a day like i used to with everquest but um i could always give it a shot especially with a strategy guide i love a good strategy guide I love a good strategy guide he knows the way to my heart is through a strategy guide <laughs> oh good lord okay moving right along we have number oh wait no this is number eight so i need to do number seven Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, good lord. What do we have here? Oh, where's the... Oh, oh there it is. It's up here. It's at the top. Okay. Man. Okay. Have them all together. All that Final Fantasy Eleven stuff. And what is this? Oh! Oh! How nice... Oh, it's a book! Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! This is Final Fantasy XV, Dawn of the Future. Dawn of the Future, that beautiful artwork right there. Look at that, it's like a novel. It's a Square Enix novel about Final Fantasy XV. I'll have to uh, read this. I know that XV wasn't exactly my favorite ever, but yeah, um, I am down for, down for a good novel. I do like to read. I, I, I do enjoy reading, I enjoy sewing i enjoy things in my downtime i have other hobbies besides gaming and reading is definitely one of them thank you thank you thank you thank you. i didn't even know this existed thank you so much the dust jacket's still intact very very nice i think i'm on number eight now i want to say i'm on number eight okay here we go here we go <laughs> let's see let's open this one up there we are okay there we go have what do we have oh my gosh completing the final fantasy theme we have a t-shirt of final fantasy one this is the box art from the very first final fantasy game how cool is that i don't think i really have any kind of final fantasy themed shirts actually of all the things that i have dragon quest shirts i have kirby shirts i have mario shirts i have the zelda shirt but not Final Fantasy, so thank you. Very, very nice. And now it looks like the last thing right here, this very thin envelope. Oh, it's held together by some brads. Let's take those off. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, this is a photograph of a, um, a, 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 of a shirt that he's going to purchase for me that will be in the mail that will be coming. He actually sent me a message um, saying that's going to be coming very soon. So he just wanted to send the photograph of saying like, hey, I got you this shirt as well. That is so sweet. That is so kind of all of y'all. Thank you so much. Again, I am just completely blown away by all of this outreach of love and support for what I do here. And I am just completely humbled by it all and i just ju just definitely want to say thank you so much for all of your support and everything from the bottom of my heart thank you again and have a good day